Have you ever woken up one day and was like, what on earth is ontology? And like you're basically making a cup of tea and like spreading butter on your toast and the question of what is ontology starts to bother you. Because it happens, man. I'm <laughs> so you guys had to go through that. It's okay. <laughs> oh my God, look. Here in my garage, I just brought this new Honda here. It's fun to drive up here in the Hollywood Hills. But you know what I like more than materialistic things? Knowledge. Okay, serious, man, you stop mapping. Ontology is like a map of reality, basically. It's a branch of philosophy concerned with understanding what exists and how things are related to each other. It explores fundamental questions about the nature of being and the categories into which everything can be organized. In simpler terms, ontology seeks to answer the really, really big questions, the huge questions, the important questions, such as what is there and why are you so cute? Guys, have you ever gone to brush your teeth and put soap from the soap dispenser on your toothbrush instead of toothpaste? Anyway, look, imagine you're helping your friend move into a new apartment because you're cool like that. And as you're unpacking boxes, your friend starts arranging their book collection on the shelves. And you ask why they're being so particular, like, bro, what's the fuss about? And they respond, I'm creating an ontology of my library. Now, of course, you got that confused look on your face like you guys always have. So you inquire further and they explain, I'm categorizing the books based on their authors and themes to understand the relationships between them because it's like building a map of knowledge, said nobody ever while adjusting their glasses. And that, my friends, is Ontology LE5. Now, Ontology gets into the fundamental nature of existence, asking questions like, well, what kind of things exist? How do these things relate to each other? What are the basic categories of or concepts uh, that we use to understand reality? And why are you putting soap on your toothbrush? For example, in Ontology, Philosophers might explore whether abstract concepts like numbers or justice exist as independent ent entities or if they are merely constructs of human thought like our numbers and uh, your race, things that exist on their own or are they only real because we think they are? And in addition to philosophical inquiry, ontology also plays a crucial role in various fields such as well computer science for example where it helps in organizing and structuring information for effective data management and retrieval for instance ontologies are used in ai or if you don't know what ai is for god's sake it's artificial intelligence okay please and it's used in ai to enable machines to understand and process information more intelligently well, of course, more intelligently, it's AI, isn't it? In philosophy, ontology is the study of being itself. It grapples with questions regarding the nature of existence, the fundamental categories of reality and the relationships between entities. At its heart lies an exploration of what it means to be. Now, drawing from the philosophical tradition, Ontologists ponder the essence of things, like they always do, contemplating whether there are underlying, unchanging substances beneath the surface appearances of the world. And this, of course, echoes the insights of ancient thinkers, who suggest the existence of transcendent forms or ideas that serve as the true reality behind imperfect manifestations that we encounter. For example, is there a more cute version of you and are you not like the most cutest thing in an objective sense? Maybe somewhere flying in the sky there's a better version of yourself, you know? A much more better version in its true form, not the one we see here. Moreover, ontology is contemplating the nature of existence itself and the various modes of being. Now, from the existential reflections of thinkers like Jean-Paul Sartre, 
who emphasized the radical freedom and responsibility inherent in human existence to the metaphysical inquiries of ancient Greek philosophers who sought to well categorize the diverse wonders of the world into distinct ontological categories. And then of course there's your mom thinking you are the best thing since sliced bread. Essentially ontolo ontology acts like a philosophical well GPS helping us navigate the deep waters of reality and prompting us to ask big questions about existence and it encourages us to look beneath the surface of things and explore the fundamental building blocks of our understanding which makes our discussions about life richer and sheds light on the mysteries of existence and of course to answer the big question why are you putting soap on your toothbrush for god's sake stop doing that